Bro, you know what's more scary about being blind? What? I'll never be able to see your beautiful face. I'm Matters Apps, and I'm on a mission to explore skateboarding's outside edge. Hop in as we travel the globe meeting skateboarding's mavericks to find out what skating means to them. Detroit Rock City, USA. Here we are. Gonna meet up with Dan Mancina and Justin Bishop, two skaters who cannot see at all, but they skate. We did a little session in the streets of Detroit, and now we're gonna go meet Dan. And I'm super excited because there's nothing more inspirational than a blind skateboarder. After being diagnosed with retinal degenerative disease at age 13, Dan Mancina lost his sight at 22 and said goodbye to one of his great passions, skateboarding. But that's not the end of the story. In fact, it was just the beginning. Dan and fellow blind skater Justin Bishop invited us to America to ride with them and learn how they are building connections to one another and ride around the world. So this is where Dan lives. Knock, knock. Hello. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good. Letters. What's up, man? Good to meet you, brother. Good to meet you, too. How you doing? I'm good. Should I take my shoes off? Oh, no, you're good. You're chill. Can I get a hug? Yeah. Super happy to meet you, brother. Yeah. yeah, dog. So, so that's your new cane right there, or what? This one is. The brand new cane. Broke one yesterday. So... You broke it? Yesterday. I was diagnosed when I was 13 with a hereditary eye disease called retinitis pigmentosa. It's called like RP, and pretty much told that my sight would slowly deteriorate throughout time until I was eventually blind, or a little over six months ago, I lost the rest of my vision. In my mid-20s is when it really started to affect like my lifestyle, when I stopped driving. That's just the most annoying thing for me, you know? How do people treat people you? People think you can't like do anything, uh, or... Like, even, like, just all the small things. Yeah, you know, when you travel. If I'm ever with somebody, you know, like, especially, like, in the like, security line or something, they'll be like, you know, does he have his ID or does he have his passport? And it's like, yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> you know? Hi, bro. Nice to meet you. What's going on, bro? Nice to meet you. How's it Ah, uh, just long. I thought, how you doing? You're doing good, you're doing good, bro. How are you doing? Good flight? Uh, good. The van is right. So we just picked up Justin Bishop, and we're gonna go skate. Oh, that's a tiny, whoa! That one's just a tiny one, but I have, like, bigger ones that are more Dude. precise. I put it in front of a pole so I can get close to that pole and not hit it and then be far enough away from other poles and I kind of want to just ollie into this bank so it kind of gives me like a little bit of awareness where everything's at. That was close to the wall. That was close to the wall, man.
mess up my knee, so it's gonna be thrashed all weekend. <laughs> It's like grip tape straight to the leg, right? Yeah, it's grip tape. So, I mean, because Vegas. Trick, it's like. Uh. Uh oh, what was that? You're gonna explode? Yeah. Uh, it's just let me know that I had it. It's a Nixon watch, so when you do that, it, it, like if you have a rough fall, it explodes like that. Really? Yeah. That's sick. I'm still getting massage. Ah, that feels amazing. So, been a long day of skating. So tomorrow we're gonna wake up again, and we got Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Got a couple days here. Yeah, I grew up skating, filming parts uh, throughout high school and stuff like that, middle school. And then like a full length part was in uh, Super Shoes. Everybody. I moved to Cali right out of high school. Just to, just to live off skating, you know, be a... Uh, I guess to be pro. <laughs> Sounds weird to say, but. Is this park pretty chill on a Saturday morning? Uh, I haven't been here on a Saturday in probably 10 years. So we're warming up at Riley Skate Park right by Eight Mile. Apparently this is Eminem's stomping grounds and walked around the skate park with Justin because he'd never been here before. So I helped him show, see and visualize how the skate park looks like. Good to see you, man. Dude, so fucking psyched on your door. I used to always see him around back in the day, whether it was down at Hart Plaza or around the city. He skates, like, it doesn't seem like uh, it affected him. It's really weird. Like, he can still skate good, even though he can't see. <laughs> uh -huh. I moved back to Michigan and not, you know, having a kid and dealing with my blindness and all that stuff, so. I mean, yeah, there's definitely a time when I was kind of, you know, bummed down or whatever. Some kind of, you know, figuring out who I was again, kind of had to refine myself. Just being sick of uh, the way people treated me and the low expectations and stuff like that. And then just slowly, eventually realized that, like, I'm just way happier and just a better person when I'm on my board. No stopping, no hesitation, straightforward motivation. earlier I 
I told Dan, yeah, you're going straight, you're going straight, and then he ended up jumping into the rail, like, gnarly fall. Felt so bad. Almost got ran over by a car, but he did it. Oh, I thanked him for making me do it. I'm scared of grinding and moving, so I wouldn't have done it unless Matters told me to. Let's take, uh, let's take the hill bomb. Are you ready? Over there, like, there's a bunch of nothing. <laughs> big, big Canadian flag across. Downtown Detroit, a bunch of classic Detroit, Michigan spots here. But see what Mars can do. We work with people that are blind, vision impaired in the people's homes. We generally don't do it here. This is the only exception upstairs. And what he does is he teaches them in skills to give them the ability to be independent. And he's got a great story to tell because he tells about how he lost his vision. He tells about what it took him to come back. Um, and that's the most important thing with vision loss is the ability to come back, to decide that your life isn't over. Um, that's the biggest crisis that people that are blind face is that they've had vision and they lose it. Then it's a big crime for them because it, you start to think of everything you can do and then you think of everything you've lost. That's why it's so amazing that, that um, he can skateboard because he's come back through that. It gave him purpose again. Um, as he said it, he wanted to be a professional skateboarder before he lost his vision. And then he lost his vision, he became a professional skateboarder, which is the amazing thing is that he accomplished a goal that he wanted before he lost his vision, and he got it after he lost his vision, which is, when you think about that, that's amazing. One and only Detroit DIY spot, the wig, short for the Wiggle Park. Um, me and Mars are trying to get it in before it starts raining. The real guys were in town, and that's when they presented me with the Action Realized raised braille board. Um, so it just gave this place a little bit more meaning to me, for sure. just how humble he is as far as like being a skater like sometimes I forget that he even is blind like I mean we'll go to a spot and you know I'll be like oh you should try this so they like, oh come on dude that's lame you know what I mean so it's like he doesn't let it get to him he's, he's super humble about it he's you know he's, he's himself he hasn't let like him being blind change who he is and that's threat. When I was younger, was just my life was just more positive, everything about it. And then losing it, it was kind of it was like negative in my mindset. Not all negative, but just something missing, you know. But like ever since I've been back on my board, like it's just good things happen, right? Everything's it's, it's, it just feels like it's where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to be doing. Chili, cheese, mustard, onion, and these. 
our coney dogs, and chili cheese fries. All right, here we go. Here's our Yes. What does the braille say on the board? Nah, so it says De Mancino. And then the bigger braille is R E A L, real. And then right at the bottom. And then skateboards. Are we getting it? Yeah, I don't even care. That's just gnarly. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you. Means a lot. Means a lot to meet you. And uh, Dude, I love, love what it. you do. Backside 5 0 slash in the deep end. So good. Justin Bishop getting it done. I wonder if Dan is gonna land his first kickflip because if he doesn't land his first kickflip, he's gonna need to do some push ups. Hey, you used the no cane. For me today. You used the cane. I saw you, you used the cane <laughs> to balance off. You used your eyes. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> hey, man. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> oh, Do a double handstand. We're going downhill in the parking lot because it's raining outside. Yeah, it's the first time doing a handstand downhill, so hopefully I can get one. I mean, I'd like to see myself skating for as long as possible. Man, just travel as much as I can, be in, be in the van as much, as much as I can with the boys, and pushes me a lot, you know, just seeing those guys, what they're doing, seeing you skate, see what you do. It's like, man, uh, motivates me to keep going. I'm gonna try out the blind skateboarding. Do my face. Are you regular, Goofy? I'm regular. That's what I do, so stick it far so you have plenty of time to know where the drop is. Boom. The minute you feel that, fall in. I'm gonna try to alley without my cane. Without the cane. It's fun if you, you realize the dangers of it. been like skating uh, with no vision for about three years, four years now. Actually, when like Dan's uh, Red Bull thing came out, my friends were telling me that like he's in the street because I use that as an excuse. I'm like, I can't street skate. Like I can't do any of that. Like I'm, I can, I can go back and forth. I can feel transition and coping and stuff. And that's when I was like, 
it's like holy shit there's like another blind skater that also has rp that so and we're the same age too it's just it's insane do you uh do you ever lose your eyesight you're gonna give up skateboarding probably not yeah no way What is skateboarding for you? I've always seen it as a way to like express myself, you know? Especially now more than ever as a blind person, it's, like I said, it gives me a way to show people who I am in the way that I want to be seen, right? As somebody who's capable, not as somebody who's handicapped or disabled or anything like that. People meet me like they're, like he said, they're like happy and stoked as opposed to have some kind of pity or feel sorry for me or something like that. You know, blindness isn't the worst thing that can happen to you. They say a bad day on the lake's better than a good day in the office, you know? I got it pretty easy for, compared to, you know, other disabilities and stuff like that. But, I mean, I've just going through my vision loss and trying to, like, figure out what does a blind person do and then realizing, like, you know, it's more about what does Dan want to do. So don't let other people um, especially people who don't understand what you're going through, dictate uh, your lifestyle and choose your path in life and tell you what you should do or shouldn't do. Um, I mean, it's really, it's up to you to figure out, you know, what makes you happy and figure out exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Um, and you gotta just keep, like, the best thing for me to do was like, I never stopped searching for something. Whatever it is, I was always, I was always moving forward. He's all right. Go tell you find a good worm. Go tell your papa I'm coming for him, huh? Dan Mancina is a skater who lost his sight, but not his vision. A remarkable story. He made it back from the pits of despair to become a worldwide inspiration. Plus, he is ripping. Dan's example fired up other blind skaters like Justin Bishop to overcome the cards life dealt them, and now they rip together. Maybe we can all take some of that energy and use it in our own lives, inside skating and out.